I'm going to show you how to put this grid shape on your images to demonstrate that you have used rule of thirds. So first of all, uh, this is a shape is as you can see over here on the right side in my layers, I can see that this is the shape. So without the shape on top, this is what your normal photo would look like. And to demonstrate uh, your understanding of rule of thirds, you are going to put a grid uh, on top of your image and then upload it onto your Google site. So to do this, uh, you're going to need the shape tool. So along this side here as well, you have all your tools. Um, sometimes you might need to expand just to have them all sitting like this. You can see them a bit easier. So we want the custom shape tool. Sometimes this might look like a rectangle tool or one of these, but so when you're trying to find it, it might look like this. So in your shapes area is where you would want to uh, find your custom shape tool. So we are going to go to there. Uh, I'm just going to go back to my image as if I'm opening it for the first time. So I've got my custom shapes tool selected. Now I have to go and find what shape I want. I already have the grid selected, but here are a whole heap of different shapes. Uh, for some reason, mine's always an arrow that's selected, but you might have something else. So across here at the top, go to the type of shape you want to put on top of your image and scroll down until you can find this grid um, icon. Hopefully you have um, your black and white selected. Just have a black color there. If you want to change it, you can just, you know, drag your color. If it's like a red, just drag it over into the corner. And before you put your, your you can have gray if you want, but black's fun. So make sure that color is changed. And then what you're going to do is hopefully all of your, your width and everything is what you want it to be. If it's not, just play around until it's the right, um, like your lines, if they're too big or too small. And then you're just gonna drag your grid from corner to corner. Awesome. And then, there, sorry, I'm just clicking, I'm going to press enter. It's okay if it's a little bit off. If they can get a little bit of space, like the tiniest bit, that's fine. It's kind of hard to get it exactly perfect. But that is now showing us the rule of thirds. So if you have watched, um, viewed the presentation, you'll have an understanding of the rule of thirds and how we should be sitting our subjects along these crossover points or along these lines. So this, these hot air balloons do demonstrate a rule of thirds because the middle hot air balloon is sitting on one of the bottom lower crossover points and it is off towards the left hand side and is not centered, which make it makes it aesthetically pleasing. So now that we have done that nice and easy, all you are doing is right clicking on your background and just merge visible. So now it's all on one layer. And then I'm going to go to file and just save as. So don't just save it. You want it to go to save as because you want to call it something else. So call it balloons. Um, you might want to call it rule of thirds with grid. So you remember what it is. Have it saved and now it is going to be ready to go to put onto your Google Sites. Keep a copy of your original um, image, so with mine it would be this balloons um, and yeah that's all. Thank you.